Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm doing a remake of the weekly stock pick videos because uh, yesterday was very short on time. I just made a quick video. I uh, didn't talk, no music. And the reason there was not even any music is because YouTube kept flagging me saying that it was a copyright infringement on um, on the background music that I had. So I uh, saw someone comment in the uh, in the comment section on the stock picks. They're like, dude, no sound, really? And I'm like, yeah, I know. I got to do better. So uh, this is the remix, remake. Okay, same picks, different uh, different vibe. Okay, me talking here. So uh, here's the stock picks for the week, guys, uh, January 17th through the 21st. Before we do, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube will let you know every time we release new content. So let's dive into it, guys. First of all, uh, this is irrelevant because now we're here. A uh, recap of January 10th through the 14th. Tesla, I did take a 10% profit and uh, re-entered with half of my position after the dip on Friday. Okay, so Tesla got in at about 994, sold at 1094, and um, overall was roughly about 10%, I think, if I'm not mistaken, of what um, of what it rose. So uh, that was a good little profit taking point. What I saw was overvalued. I sold. It fell back down to almost undervalued, bought back in, and uh, I'm going to watch it <clears throat> on uh, on Tuesday. I thought originally I was going to buy Monday, but I forgot about Martin Luther King Day, which is today, so the market is closed. ALGS, that's one of them stocks where I was like, man, it's been beaten down so, so much that it could be an easy money play. It only rose a few cents. Okay, it's still undervalued and beat down like you would not believe, so it does create an interesting um, interesting opportunity there as well uh, for those of you who are keeping an eye on it and then IQST was down 14% last week so that one's one to keep an eye on moving forward into this week if we go below 60 cents so we're gonna see 55 to 50 which will be phenomenal for our longer-term investors okay so the weeks uh, for the picks for this week is Tesla yes again <laughs> okay I think that we're gonna shoot up uh, a little bit on uh, some point this week and then really the following week is where I think we're going to have a big moonshot because we have earnings on the 26th, okay? Uh, obviously not buying more Monday because we're closed. I mean Tuesday. Uh, DraftKings is super undervalued at this, at this time. And I think that we're going to see uh, some more upward momentum anywhere. You know, $20, guys, is a, a steal in my opinion. I think that over the next couple of months we're going to see, you know, $30, $40 again. At some point, maybe get to 50 before the end of the year, and then triple Qs. You know, I think that uh, you know we're going to see some upward momentum in the markets, and then you got to take a look at the 384 resistance level. That is going to be a uh, key indicator. If we hit, hit above there, we have some more room to run. If we get rejected, then uh, you could you know kind of see it pulling back down. But currently sitting around 380. Okay, so if you get in, you know, it's not going to be a big run until you want to kind of start being a little cautious. Um, if it gets above 384, then you can kind of feel comfortable that we may see a little bit more room to run before looking to take profits. Okay, on the watch list, IQST, I talked about that just a second ago. If we break below 60, we could see 55 to 50. If we bounce off of 60 cents, I think that is a great sign. And that would, um, you know, kind of make me want to go and buy some more at these levels. Uh, triple E and F, it did bounce off of the red SMA line, which indicates a good sign of price strength. And I want to see how it's going to react to, um, you know, potentially no news. I don't think it's going to start really moving until we have indication of uh, they're sputting their second well. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. This is just a quick remake of the video from yesterday with no sound. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the video if you enjoy our subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content and uh, comment below on the stocks that you're watching for the week so other than that we'll catch you in the next one